Some people call this a war. A daily battle is being waged in supermarkets all over this country. A battle for the customer's dollar. If a store is to make a profit in the face of today's stiff competition, everyone in it must give his full effort. With literally millions of dollars at stake, success is measured in pennies. The checker plays a key role in this daily struggle. Probably no job in a supermarket affects the store's success more than that of a checker. Her every action reflects on the store and its entire staff. She is a shopper's last, and often only, personal contact with the store. The first order of business is to greet the customer. Then comes an important moment of caution. Is the bottom of the cart empty? I always make certain there are no missed items that might get through unchecked and ring this up as a signal to myself that I've checked the cart. And most importantly, I keep it pleasant and matter of fact. No customer likes to think she is suspected of shoplifting. Ring up the right price and press the right department key. These keys are important to the store's records and planning. Checkers are bookkeepers too. Multiple priced items should be checked together. Try to hold the first items in this group until they can all be checked through at once. Here's another pricing problem, a price smeared beyond recognition. How do you decipher it? This is one time I stop everything. I don't guess. I ring for my supervisor and set the smeared item aside until she comes. In the meantime, I can continue putting the rest of the order through. Although I study the prices and know the specials, I'm always on the lookout for certain booby traps. With a store's profit margin of about one and a quarter percent, a checker error of only 30 cents means that about $25 worth of groceries must be sold before the store regains the loss. It's more than just pennies. It's a question of your store's success or failure. Knowing the fundamentals makes the job easier and helps you to do it better. Personality is something every good checker develops on her own. She learns to communicate a comfortable pleasantness to her customers, making them feel that the store regards them as something special. The job is easier when you do it right, and people are generally nicer to deal with when you treat them right. This battle is won on the front line. It's here that the customer has her last important contact with the store. To a large extent, a checker's actions determine whether a shopper will be back. It's a difficult job at times, but learning the skills we've seen demonstrated will help assure that it's done right and will make your task much easier. In your store, you are a vital member of the team. By always observing the fundamentals, you'll be doing your part on the front line.